Hey there, and welcome back to Season 2 of Inkbound, Starship of Terrors. I had to think for a moment there, did I say the word terrors correctly? I think I did. Wow, wild. My brain processed that absolutely wrong. Just, I, I, you ever hear that? This has completely derailed my intro. But anyway, we're playing the roguelike action strategy game by Shiny Shoe. Uh, but I do want to talk about this now. Do you ever have those moments where you say a word correctly and it just sounds wrong? I, I imagine this has to happen to everyone, right? For whatever reason, your brain just simply goes, that's not how that goes, even though it is. And then you sit and think about it and it dominates your waking thoughts for the next hour. No, just me? Okay, well, that's that's called Nero Spicy. Anyway, let's play some Clairvoyant today is what we're doing. So we our previous run was with Weaver. This was a pretty nonsense run, I think. If memory no wait, this was not Weaver, it was Obelisk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I looked at the wrong one. This is the nonsense run, yeah. I forced spikes and we had what was it window to eternal longing with the armored porcupine, which the combination of which made me go out of control with spikes. Just pretty wild. Uh, and so it was a great run. Now we're moving on to Clairvoyant, who I haven't, I think I've played the least in the new patch. So this should be interesting. Hopefully it's a good run. Yeah, I, I will say that. What am I trying to say here? I did play a couple of runs. I almost forgot again. Good grief. What's my brain is just non-functional today. I did try to play a couple of runs. I've tried to get as far as I can in terms of the actual tiering system, but I've only had so much time to play this week. So or rather this week prior to this episode. So ultimately, that means all right, I didn't get that far. I think I'm still on, was it tier 14, tier 15, something like that. So anyway, so we're not quite up to max tiering yet. Now, the next question becomes, what do I want to do for my trinket? Now, I've thought about this a bit. I think I want to do a clips of extraction run here. I guess I should use some unlocks here, right? Yeah. Hey, look, I unlocked one. Cool. Great. Go team. Yeah, my goal here is I could force burn, frost, or poison. I think these are just perfectly viable. These This four middle tier here on the first page, I think you can pretty much force any of them on any run and get away with it. I do think that Blessing of Misplaced Nobility is pretty good on Clairvoyant. I think that she's a little front-loaded and is able to take advantage of this. I also think this is probably pretty good on Moss Cloak because Moss Cloak is very strong early and appreciates the free scaling going later. But uh, some of these I haven't tried, right? I haven't tried the Rose of Rubies yet. The fact that it replaces pickups at the Fonts of Wisdom makes me feel like this is not going to be nearly as strong as some of the others. It's hard to look at this and feel better about it compared to, I don't know, something like blaze of Bridget, which is just free power it's just so much free power and some of it's immediate right so so that's something to consider there's also always the fact that chart of stars is just free right chart of stars is just free money the only downside to this is that it's delayed right you get it after ring after ring after book one so that means you have to survive book one in order to get it it's the same problem you have with heart of a hero i generally like this is fine right but i generally favor ones that are going to be immediate value right that are going to have immediate power for you at least something like Blessing of Misplaced Nobility gives you like what, five ability power before the end of the book one. So there's that. And then I think that, you know, Bounty of Sentient Beings is basically terrible. And I think that Passkey of the Future, I mean, these, this seems okay, but yeah, this seems okay. But notice that these are all physical bindings or utility. So if you want these bindings, I mean, Smoke Bomb is excellent. Let me just put that out there. I love this. But if you're going to play with Smoke Bomb, you want a physical character. And she is not a physical character. Clairvoyant. These other ones, some of these are weird, right? Even using one of these condition damage bindings, you gain 
Magic power permanently, okay, that's slow. If you've got the mixed bindings, you can gain magic power and physical power and stuff, but it's... And if you oscillate, you gain more. So this is cool, but this is also just... This is a very strange one that takes way too much thinking, I think. This is a great example of an overthought trinket, in my opinion. While this maybe is a thing that is good scaling or whatever, this is just, if you're going to try to tailor this and maximize the value of this, it requires too much brain power. Frankly, this game does not support this kind of an implementation very well. And then the Dial of Fate is bizarro, right? This is, if you, this is great for like Moss Cloak. I think this is a functional line if you're going to like lean a little on uh, Crit Chance or something, and then you can get. Uh, one of these others as well. The problem is that if you do this on Clairvoyant with no condition damage like lean, you're not going to have any good, you're not going to gain any good value from it, right? Oh no, I gained spiked damage when I take crit chance. No, I think the pick is Clips of Extraction here. And this is largely because, yeah, you have fewer, less will, which is a penalty, but it immediately gives you a second orb, pretty much, uh, on turn two and going forward. I wanted to try it. So here we are with Clips of Extraction. A little odd. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, let's go ahead and get in on this. So as always, do like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, let's see how Clips of Extraction goes, huh? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I need to look at some of these quests and actually burn through some of these, I think. There's a few that I just have not made any progress on. Oh, yeah, I did make it a little bit. I'm on tier 16. Look at me. I made some progress. So the big change here on tier 16, treasure pots have Quillian plates, 25% max HP and shield each turn, and they reflect damage. That is brutal. I have not looked at this one yet, but that is absolutely brutal. Wow, okay, well, you have to take even... This is awful, reflecting damage. This means if you somehow fail to commit and kill it, then then you lose not only life, but all the value. Wow, that's brutal. Okay, now I don't know what we did last time, and I'm not about to think about it. So let's just pick the one. I think I've gotten over the point of trying to rotate these. The truth is I'm not putting them in thumbnails or anything. I think we need to pick to win, especially with the higher difficulties. We need to pick the ones that are most likely to get me value. So I think Cinder here out of no chance. Dazed critical hits. I don't want to force myself down that line. 700 quillings. That is the most likely to be spent. I'm going to be spending money, 100%. So we're just going to take Shadow of Runestone and that's going to be that. Cool. All right, let's see what we hit. On collecting an orb, gain a shield. This is pretty good because, I mean, like, look at this. Can I show you this? If I right click the thing. No, it doesn't show me what mitosis does here, but it mitosis gives me the uh, the additional orb, essentially. So I think that this is just going to be free shield, which I like. It's not power, by the way, but I do like it. I could go stroke of genius. I like Stroke of Genius because it's power right now. Huh. Well, let's look at the other option first before I make a decision. Increased range, crit chance, crit chance. Okay, so Critical Spirit Bomb is not bad, but I think leaning this way this early is going to be low value. Let's take Extended Telekinesis. This is something that allows me to hit more enemies and will generally just be good. I think you can't rely on these crit chance ones because if you don't roll the crit, then you're getting zero value out of your common relic or your common augment rather, and we desperately need value now. So we're gonna take the one that gives us value right away, guaranteed, increased range. And I'm gonna seriously consider, hmm. I'm gonna seriously consider the stroke of genius here four magic power right away even if it costs me one magic power every turn is quite powerful for a common relic okay so quill augmentation is fully impossible you cannot take this you lose when enemies are hit they deal one damage to you once per combat this is so much bonus damage it's literally unpickable high gravity i think is functional it's annoying but functional 
Ink Shield, I think, is going to get you killed more often than not. This is going to be a high gravity run, and we're going to have to deal with it. So, as a result, I think being powerful right away is good. If a combat is taking over four rounds, I lose all value from this. I actually think Misting Bells. I'm going to go with the Bells, especially because of the Mitosis pick. I think it's right. It's going to save us a lot of damage over the course of this run. We take high gravity, and we hope for the best. This is going up against what? Janus? I think that's fine. Yeah, I think Janus is not a problem. We should be able to overcome it. Immediate fish, pretty cool. What do I get? Good fish? Brain tuna. Yeah, brain tuna is a pretty good one. That is a fine pick. I don't think I'm going to need it for the first combat, especially not a normal combat, but we'll take it. Wow, ink drain on the first combat in the heavy is crazy. Wow. Okay, let's last orb should give me mitosis. Now, there it is. On next turn, create an additional orb and lose this mitosis. Okay. Well, let's just not take this damage and walk out of it. And I'm going to stand here and leave that alone. Yes. They should move around. I should be able to get through some good chunk of them. Now remember, we don't have to move at all until, but now we have two orbs, so that's pretty cool. So the plan is I want, the two here is my number of psionic charges, right? Can I get an extra person in here? I can. So I get an extra person in here, do the blast, and I do need to get orbs. So I think standing here is going to be correct. 30 damage straight up, by the way, is nonsense. Now, can I... I might be able to get a third guy in and save six here. If I move like this, orb. This is the right pick, yeah? It saves a lot of health. I'm only taking the four from this Tangled Quill, which is pretty much impossible for me to avoid, I think. Move here. I do want to... Wow, yeah, I can't really... I don't, I don't get any movement at all, pretty much, which is unfortunate. No, pretty much no movement. Ah, well, fair enough, I suppose. Let's go ahead and do as much damage as we can, I think. I am going to... Let's see, he's taking six and five. How much am I? Three? Oh, he's dying from the aura, so this actually isn't doing anything for me. So what we should do is run over self and maximize value here. Yeah. I take zero, but I do get the second ink snare, which is annoying. Yeah, wow. High gravity, man. Minus 10 movement per turn. So I start with minus 10 and I get an additional minus 5. I basically have no movement. Ooh, boy, that's... And they spawn my orbs so far away from one another. That is, how do we say, tough. Okay. Well, I'm going to need some movement to offset that. I have not tried it, and I did not realize how bad that was. So, that's rough. Okay, all bunch of crit garbage, unfortunate. I do think we want magic power here. I'll take it. We'll take what we can get. It's not going to be anything else. Amplified telekinesis is a bad pick, in my opinion. I'm going to take critical pulse, I suppose. I'm at least going to have more rolls of this. It's fine. I think those critical augments are pretty bad at the common level. I just don't think they add a lot of value. Jinx. I have been told that I should try Jinx more often. Yeah, I have been told that I should try Jinx in the patch, that it's changed and feels really good. Okay. Sure, let's give it a go. I don't think I've ever picked it on the channel. We'll give it a try. If it kills me, I'm blaming everyone else. I need some movement relics. 
this has been very punishing. Never take the opening, the hard combat here. We'll take money again. All right, we'll move on. Let's see what we get. I need to avoid as much damage as possible. We actually did great in that combat overall, only taking two damage, really. But I did lose some health, which is unfortunate. I just kill this guy, maybe? Okay. We need to stop as much damage as possible. I need to run myself over here. Right. So run yourself over one more time. Okay. Now walk out of the thing. Slam the thing. Orb. Slam the thing. Okay. We're taking zero on the turn. It'll do. I'm doing some damage here. I should be able to kill this stupid Quillian hybrid on this turn. Let's... I think this is a spirit bomb turn. I need to run myself over here to the best of my ability while still being able to get that orb. Right, so let's do that. Use the two skill. Take the orb. Walk out of this. Black hole's pretty good. For each stack. So currently I have one stack of dread because I've killed an enemy. I can't farm this out though. I think the right choice is to black hole orb and then do five. I'm taking five damage here because I could not get through this guy, but that will just simply have to be a fact. Now I should be able to murder a couple guys here, which I think is excellent. So we'll start with that. Okay, now I need to move this back, walk up, take an orb, do as much damage as we can, pretty much. We bomb a guy, we move up, take an orb, we bomb a guy. And really, taking another five. Only so much can be done here. These guys are hitting like trucks. We get out of it though. That was a much harder combat than it needed to be. Hard for me to deal with those hefty enemies while still hitting everything else. Critical Jinx. I mean, I guess we could lean towards crit chance, right? 6% crit chance on that. It's pretty decent. It's better than any of these other upgrades. Yeah, okay. Critical chance. Okay, sure. Critical jinx it is. And then we'll take crit chance, I suppose. Magic power is also still viable, though. It's true. Magic power is generally pretty good. But I think the crit chance, actually, given the fact that I've now rolled two crit chance augments, pretty good. All right, we're going to need to spend money to power up. So it's 100% the refuge here. There's just no way around it. We have to take this. Okay, might buy this health, but they didn't nerf this, right? It's only 10 health now, so I feel a lot less inclined. On winning a combat within five turns, restore six health, and this vestige gains one ability power. Most importantly to me, this adds 15 movement per turn, which I think does fully offset. <laughs> does fully offset two rounds of high gravity. I think I have to purchase this, right? Yeah, I think I have to purchase that just straight up. That helps so much in getting me back to normal levels. And this is early enough that I think this is high value. Twin Fangs is pretty darn good as well. Crit damage pays off a little bit and it eventually will add up to me getting more crits. So I'm gonna purchase that. I'm gonna reroll. And Stone Pitch Pipe is probably what's happening, right? Yeah, we're looking to power up. I need to spend money on myself so that I can actually walk into this upcoming combat and have some value here. And I feel like that added a lot of value to me. So I'm happy. Glad to see it. I would like a Superior Vault. I think we're going to chance this. I might fish here. I might fish here. I think this is actually 
probably pretty important to get. Lost a discount. I think I'm going to eat this fish. I need to be powerful for this combat. Yeah, it did end up becoming the Quillian as well. God, it ended up with this stupid goon as well. It deals damage to me, and it also deals damage to me by everyone else. So this, is, this is awful. Can I get three of them? No. I pretty... I need to walk out of this in the best way possible. I can get zero damage on the turn. It's not very good, though. Can I hit all of them? Well, it looks like I can. So we'll do that. I'm going to take orb here. I think I just have to eat this damage. I don't know how else we get through this, right? Let's run him over again, I think. Yes. Orb. And we bomb this. Guy down here has Vanguard. Good grief. I'm just... I'm gonna probably pass away. Even if I'm not actively trying to get the... the stupid pot here... This is a nonsense combat. Wow. I can hit three people with Jinx here, which almost certainly has to be correct. It just does. I think we need to... I, I, I can't do anything about that treasure pot. He's got too much health, and he hurts me. I, I just... This is a, a trade that cannot be made anymore. I need to not lose the run. We're gonna do a bomb. I'm gonna walk. Okay, I need to move. I need to bomb here. Yes, I need to walk. I need to... I think I can actually kill a guy and save health if I black hole here. So close. If I eat this potion, I think he actually goes. Yeah, that saves five. It's a shame that it went that way, but that's okay. Yeah, goodbye thing. Pick up a potion. I rolled a crit, which is pretty good. The crit is an excellent play. We, we're just going to click the crit, 100%. And then we walk out of the thing. I'm going to run myself over. I bomb. He's dying. Great throw the jinx up at this guy over here try to kill him although enemies are still spawning so i might just wait on this yeah, we're just gonna sit on this get that dread stack enemies are spawning my hope is that i can actually like yeah we just kill a bunch of guys immediately good move up run yourself over orb black hole we get out of the combat fast enough that Pocket Watch of Alacrity healed me. Excellent work. Okay. Poof. All right. Crit chance, probably. It looks like we're leaning that way. Base cooldown. Allies hit gain one shield. This seems like this is going to be necessary. Base cooldown is kind of interesting here, but... On your turn, gain one psionic charge. Straight up very strong. But Study of Windsong marked is very good here. I can coordinate this with some crits maybe to get big hits. I think we have to take the Study of Windsong here. It's just so much stronger than the other options. I do like Scrying Table, but it's not that powerful by comparison. So we'll take the Study. That's a good pickup. I'm likely to grab... Shielding Pulse. This is pretty decent. It is just maybe one to two shield a turn. It's not a lot, right? It's not a lot. I need to think about that more. Let's see, over here, I think selling this for five is not that helpful. Let's go ahead and take three crit chance, try to roll a little more here. We're definitely leaning the way of crit, it seems. I think I have to take, I have to avoid chip damage here, right? I think I do coming up. Let's look at the binding first. I guess I could have looked at the binding and gotten a different roll, but let's at least just look at this. 
and see what we hit here. Restoration is very promising here. I have a very high power one, and I can take a defensive roll. I think I'm good with that. Man, look what they did to my boy. Look at this, Chain Lightning is ruined. It used to be king, and now it's just Garbo. A single enemy? Get out of here. After Image is pretty good, by the way. Evasive and the gained critical charge stack is pretty solid. I really like the restoration play, though. I think we're gonna take it. It's just pure defense. I don't know how restoration didn't get the nerf hammer, but I don't know. Now, I, let me think about this. With the restoration, I'm less inclined to go shielding pulse. Quick and Jinx is fine, right? It's good. Another round of it, but I'm already benefiting from stone pitch pipe a bit. So, so it's already fast. What if I just take the zero cost on telekinesis because I'm already dealing with one less will? Yeah, let's try prepared telekinesis here. I'm always going to be moving my orb, so it seems easy to me to make that pick. It's guaranteed value. Oh, two health there. Excellent. Now, sadly, I cannot afford this binding empowerment. I power it up in other ways, which I think is okay. And sure, let's take the tethered shrine. I think that'll have to do. Okay. It's better than the sea breach. We roll... Three physical power. Ugh, that's not what I'm liking to see. Let's look at this potion real fast. Get a disintegration oil. One final carver's refuge for the road. Good grief. I think I'm going to re-roll this. One ability power is not bad. Just make everything stronger. But two magic power is almost certainly stronger. I'll spend my one glyph on this. I'm in an odd number. 60 crit damage or one shielding. Okay, so that's good. If I can actually roll my crit, crit damage is 60 crit damage is pretty huge, right? I like one shielding. Just straight up get a shield. It's pretty good. It's pretty solid. I'm going to take the crit damage though. I think that is just so much additional power that I really want to take it. Maybe I see a really good 35 gold one, right? See a pretty cheap guy here. Maybe get some value out of this. Verdant Seed. Well, it's not very powerful. Nope. Yeah, not gonna happen. Yeah, Cloak of the Conspirator. On your turn, if you took no damage the previous turn, gain a critical charge on all bindings. It's pretty strong if I can leverage it. I don't think me taking Verdant Seed is going to suddenly make a big difference on this boss. So let's just not do that and hope for the best here. Janus could absolutely blast us. We'll see. We'll have to see. Lusk. It's Lusk. Of course it's Lusk. I knew that. These like limp egg things are brutal, right? There's just no way around it. Okay. We're gonna run ourselves over. I need to go to the right side. We're gonna blast. Yes, we have to blast. I didn't take the gain shield while standing in it. Correct. So first order of business, blast. We're gonna heal ourselves. I'm gonna take this orb. We're gonna blast again. Guess I could try to stop incoming damage to some extent. The black hole does something here. How much is this black hole doing right now? 120. Oh, I got a study of wind song roll on that guy. Interesting. I I could move it and then black hole because of the cost difference. 120, I think this actually saves a lot if I go like this. Man, I wish this showed the AOE better, right? He looks like he should be in that. Ugh, that's so frustrating. Well, we save a little bit here. It'll have to do. It's just a great example of I thought this guy was in the AOE because the black hole AOE or the spirit bomb is bigger than the AOE of the rest of this. I just take, well, I take, six additional damage because of that which is awful okay well let's grab this orb real fast run ourselves over 
do need him to be in it. Okay, that's going to be something. We do a bomb here. Take the orb. We do another bomb here. Okay, this saves a lot. I am going to need to do something pretty dumb. I need to save a lot of life here. I'm walking out like so. But I need to... Can I get this orb? Maybe. It's probably worth not killing the slimp egg things. I can get that. That's good. Because now I can... I hadn't moved. What do you mean? Oh, that's so frustrating. I'm just eating this hit now. Well, if I'm just eating this hit now, you're all going to have to deal with the fact that I'm very sad about that. So I take three here. I'm very upset about taking that automatic hit, by the way. You cannot, you cannot tell me that that was, that was fun. Okay, let's deal with these losers here. We're going to blast. I kill some guys. I think I... Man, Dread is like, you know, Jinx is one of those abilities where I look at this and I go, what if instead this just permanently gained that stack all the time? I don't know, man. All right, I have to move in order to get this orb. We're going to run ourselves over because I have a guaranteed hit here. I am going to blast one of these guys. Oh, apparently I did some quest with that. Take the orb. I think I do want to take this hit. Can I, like, phase him here, actually? Maybe. I could maybe phase him here? Right, if I use the disintegration oil? But I think I'm going to need this to get out of the second phase alive. I do think I just have to slam this, right? Because... There's a lot of value in this. Yeah, he had the marked, right? So the marked, I think we needed to spend that. I could have phased him, but I, I don't want to like, this is a bad set of hit points remaining. This is a bad setup for a phase. This is a good phase turn, right? This is a good phase turn. Okay, I'm taking zero now. This is good. Now I do need how do I get mitosis again? Collecting an orb. I do need to collect a orb to get mitosis. And now I wanna, do I wanna sit on this orb for next turn? I do, yes. So we have three charges. I'm getting restoration back. I can get Jinx back next turn. Okay, I think this is about as good as my phase is gonna get. Okay. That is about as strong as we're gonna see. Terrifying. Okay, let's try try dealing with enemies here. We rolled a crit on Jinx, which is kind of huge. This is going to be a black hole for sure, which clears out a good chunk of enemies. Great work. Okay. Now, we got to deal with the downstairs guys, I think. Let's run ourselves over. Yes, I think that matters. We pulse here, which saves a bunch. We're going to take an orb, and let's pulse again, which saves a bunch. Take the orbs again, and let's end the combat. This crit roll on Jinx is, turns out is pretty good, and we get out. Ooh, buddy, which also is another proc of Pocket Watch of Alacrity. Incredible work. Whew, scary, but we did it. Good. Regeneration. Yes, I, you know what? I feel strong enough right now that taking regeneration right now feels like a good pick. Yeah, quick mend is maybe fine, but we're just, we take regeneration when they show it like that. No rerolls required. Plus 35 damage on telekinesis. Destructive spirit bomb. I think rolling 150 crit damage and 10 crit chance on spirit bomb with twin fangs is the play. We'll take it. Whew, okay. Now, if I go back, I actually have the money if I want it. For Cloak of the Conspirator. 
If I took no damage the previous turn, gain a critical charge on all bindings. That's pretty strong. We're going to grab this. Yeah, I like this. I think I can make this work, especially into runestone. And now we're going to move on. Whew, what a good what a good combat. We actually did excellent work there. I'm pretty pleased. This has been spicy, I think. A very difficult thing. Lore! Woo, lore! Incredible. Alright, now I'm looking for anything here. I'm not re-rolling this. I need my two glyphs. I could pass this, but I think the right answer is simply two magic power. Just make my key spells hit harder. I think will have to be important, sure. Now, on collecting an orb, take damage. No, absolutely not. Pacifism is also brutal. We have ability power and magic power. Wit thief? Are you serious? I think... Good grief. I think it has to be wit thief. As much as I hate this, right? Gosh, I need, like, Leaky Pen or something. Now, I don't think Wit Thief stacks, right? I think Wit Thief is just a singular debuff. Because if I, I think if this stacked, this would... Does it stack? Does anyone know? I wish I knew. I am going... I'm going to Google this real fast. Let me just pull that out because this could be really bad now unfortunately the wiki is not in a position where i actually feel like the wiki answers a lot of questions so i'm not super excited about this but we're gonna try our best okay ink bound wiki and wit thief tell me how this works because this could... Oh my gosh, of course, this wiki does not have any of this information. I desperately need to know how this works, I think. Ah, uh, yes. And of course, it's fandom, which is my absolute least favorite wiki in the universe. Ooh, buddy. Yeah, we, we love it when it just spams you with every kind of thing in the universe. Uh, how many ads can you fit on one screen? That's a good question. Okay, I don't... I don't think it's tracked. Yeah, I'm not seeing any of this in here. Status effect, maybe? Maybe it's under there. You got Wit Thief in here? Debuffs. No? Okay, well... Yeah, this does not seem like it contains enough information here. All right, yeah, th this is not on the wiki. So I have no bloody idea how this works. I think we lose if this gives me minus two, and I think we could make this winning if I don't do that. Unreal. Take two damage? I think I... I this is at least... Right? This is... This is really bad. This is a really bad... This is the absolute worst possible roll for me. Pacifism, I think, kills all of my offensive scaling. Full stop. And is death. So, don't take... Pacifism is like 20% damage loss every turn. Including turn one. Two damage here. I can maybe offset this with regeneration. But this also, by the way, completely negates Cloak of the Conspirator. We're going to try Wit Thief. I hate this, but we're going to try it. All right. Watch. If this stacks, I think I'm just losing this run. I don't see how we can avoid that because my entire Clips of Extraction gets negated and I straight up lose just all the value here as well as one will. It's just an ultimate punish. A true ultimate punish. I'm going to take an easier in combat here because I'm scared, actually. Just unironically terrified of how Wit Thief interacts here. So we're going to find out. This is one of those things. You've got to learn this at some point, okay? It's just part of the game. You've got to learn it at some point. Anyway, here goes regeneration. Thank you very much. Wee! Okay. Run over everything. What is this chompy? This guy just hits like a truck. Good grief. 
Why are you here, my guy? Just, just take a million damage, I guess, is the nature of this one. Okay, well, that's fine. Now, I'd love to, I think the plan then has to be run yourself over a whole bunch and try the best. I did roll a crit there, that's pretty good, we'll take it. We'll do our, we did our best, I take four damage. Um, I can actually make this do less to me. I can take three damage here and be okay with it. Run yourself over. Incredible news. Taking three. Shame. Okay. All right, with Thief, this looks like it stacks. Y'all, it looks like it stacks, and I am not here for it. I'm very sad about that. Oh, no. All right, take this orb pop. Oof. Okay, walk out of the bad things. Orb. You have to black hole here. Pretty much no way around it. Okay, chill out. Oof, it does stack. Everyone, it stacks, and we are having a bad day for it. I take 11 for this turn now. I think everyone just gets healed. It stacks. Everyone, it stacks. Dax, it's so unbelievably bad. Wow, it's terrible. We're gonna walk. I mean, I have, I can't afford my own skills now. I straight up cannot afford my own skills. I can at least bomb out of this combat, I think. Yeah, I do get out of here, fortunately. Let's try to heal. This is rough. Let's try to deal damage to that guy to the best of our ability. What turn is this? How do I even... Can I check what turn it is? I think it's turn three or something. I think we're okay to try to farm out an additional turn of... Regeneration here, right? Why does this not show me healing? Does it not show healing on turn start anymore? Maybe not. Let me see. I'm at 32. No, didn't work. Oh, no, I'm at 38 now. Okay, fair enough. Let's just walk away, I think. I could end this combat. I think, what's the turn count on this? Six? Five turns? What turn is it? Is there a tracker for this somewhere? You'd really think this should be tracked, right? Turn counter, turn counter. It's not tracked. That's crazy. I can't find it anywhere on the UI. Man, I feel like I'm all the way behind here. I'm going to wait one more turn here. I think we're okay. Okay, now just heal yourself another two and then bomb this man out. walk towards the orbs. I do have to actually kill those slimps. So let's end that. Okay. I think I did miss the pocket watch of alacrity. That's a shame. I lost track of time. We're anyway, we're going to take counter assistance here because this gains critical charges on a random binding. Outrageous. I love the orbuculum, orbuculum, orb orb thing, right? Because this is good. Magic power until the binding is used, but I think just crit more is better. That's a shame. 100% crit damage on Jinx again. Yeah, sure. Make that into a phase change button, pretty much. We're going to take one shielding here. I think that's a really good roll. I like the defense on this one. Yeah, cool. Shame about the ability power on this. I wish I could just track. I wish it told me somewhere but it doesn't. Anyway, I have no money to spend, which is really bad, especially because I have a spend quillings. I can't get any of these stupid, what are they called? Ink pots, treasure pots. So I'm not having any money to spend. So let's go to the garden and earn a bunch of money and a free relic. I like that. It'll have to do. We'll see at least some kind of money expenditure in the later parts of this. But we get a lot of like procs here. You see there's a lot of free money that we pick up, which might actually be relevant. This person has lore for me. Behold, lore. Okay, give me a relic. What do you got for me? 
on critting gain shield. Yes, okay, it turns out I think that I'm liable to get a lot of stuff there. On your first turn, the first binding you use costs two will less. This is not going to be good because most of these are going to be... <laughs> most of this is going to be telekinesis, right? I need to move into position. So that's... And it's already free because of the prepared. While you could do this and lead with a Jinx or a Black Hole, I keep calling it Black Hole, it's not upgraded, a Spirit Bomb, then I don't think I don't think the positioning is going to work out. I'm going to take Hammer of the Broken Rail here because I think defense is paramount. And honestly, we're Cloak of the Conspirator is gone. I wasted 70 gold on this. I feel bad about it. Okay, moving on with my life. Unfortunately, no money one here. I actually think we take the uncommon because if I roll another critical jinx, we're going to be feeling pretty good about this. So I also am scared of these combats straight up. Yeah, I also think I have really good vestiges here. So let's just I'm not really that impressed by the idea of getting more and none of those were money. And I don't feel like I need more globes because I got so many from Bloody Wit Thief. So take the easier combat and just feel good about it. Straight up opening Jinx, just killing a bunch of stuff is pretty decent. I'm going to take that. I'm happy about that. We're going to run ourselves over, as is usually the case. I'm going to heal myself. I'm going to bomb. It should kill that guy. I'm currently taking zero here, which is interesting. I guess I have seven defense here, so I may as well lean into lean into the whole do damage thing, right? Sure, why not? Just hit the guy. He does hit me, but it doesn't cause me any major concerns. I am rolling a whole bunch of good stuff here. Let's try to center this up and go for a good black hole, maybe. Bomb. This actually is a very bad black hole. Oh, I see why. I have to move now. Orb. Now it's a decent black hole. I can stop some of this damage, but it's not a lot. We'll stop some of the damage. I think I really need to. I take eight on this turn. Ouch. These jumpy buddies are a challenge. And then the, the shield guy, universally a challenge. Ooh, friends. Pain. I need to stop the guys that are doing 14 damage to me. Right? I think they're both attacking. This guy's jumping nowhere in particular, and this guy's jumping. So let's go for let's go for the auto kill on these two very scary enemies. Okay. Important. We're going to now move to the left side. I'm going to walk out of this. I'm going to take a bunch of orbs. We bomb here. That does a lot of work on this turn. Okay. Let's now regenerate and chill. I take two damage and I'm okay with it because I regenerate most of that back. This is turn three. Turn three. It matters. I'm counting timers. Um, orb... I would like to last orb crit roll here. Okay, bomb out, do you take zero on the turn? Okay, that's good, that's good. Taking zero on this turn and I guarantee a crit out. I heal myself, it's double orbs. Jinx this guy. Now unfortunately, he does spawn things which are unfortunate. This is like turn two, right? It's turn four, I think. Get out of the combat. Ah, oh, it was turn five. Within five turns? That's unfortunate. We're not getting a lot of value out of our pocket watch, y'all. Not happy with that. They do give me another orb, orb thing here. This is pretty solid. 10 movement per turn. Very nice. I think actually the pocket watch feels like it's offsetting it well enough. I'm going to take five crit chance instead then. Did they nerf this? Didn't it used to be six? I think they did. Man, they nerfed my crit. Nerf and crit. All right. Base cooldown on Jinx is pretty good. I can gain 
Charging Telekinesis, I don't like that. Spirit Bomb comes up faster. I'm will limited here, so I'm not a huge fan of that. Another counter assistance. I mean, this is really good just from the perspective of everything is a crit. Everything is crit is pretty strong. Yeah, that's pretty good. If everything is crit, then you win. Which means straight up that I think Twin Fangs is just objectively worse than another counter assistance here. Twin Fangs is probably the replace as well if I go Orb... How do you even pronounce this? Orbuliclum? Orbulala... What? Who came up with this name? Did anyone say this out loud? Orbulicum. I, I don't have a clue. I'm going to call it the Orb. So we could take the Orb... Which does synergize with the fact that I have so many orbs thanks to Clips of Extraction. Five, it's 50% base damage until a binding is used. That can be very strong. I can line this up pretty effectively. I'm already doing this passively. But I straight up think that critting on every ability every turn is just stronger. So we're going to take Counter Assistance. And I'm going to put that over Twin Fangs because Counter Assistance is, in my opinion, just better. We are now going to move on. I finally get another fish, which is pretty good. What are we doing now? Astrokinesis, Aura Kinesis. Gain Will Aura. Okay, I mean, I'm very well improbably grabbing this. I am struggling right now with Will. So I think we're, we're off. We're fighting with Thief, which it does stack as it turns out. I could re-roll this for more damage. I mean, I think that a Spirit Bomb upgrade does kind of seal the deal. And honestly, a Jinx upgrade is probably disgustingly powerful too, right? With my current rolls. Will is so strong here though, right? Just end my turn in the Aura and I get one will. I think I have to do this. This is off. This is important. Unfortunate. No power gained. Only 120 gold. Good grief. Well, I guess I'm going to try to go to a carver. I need to spend money. I guess I could take the sea breach. I don't have enough money for any of this. This this sucks. I hate this treasure pot change. That's a rough change. So, Sea Breach, what do we have here? There's nothing good that comes from a Sea Breach. 99% of the times it's garbage. Let's take the Refuge because I, there might be a green that's useful, I guess. It's possible. I don't want to heal myself here. Sea Trickle. Well, that's garbage. Okay, that's garbage. I like the Frost Aura if I could grab this. Chilling Presence. It's pretty okay and then you get 25 frostbite at the same time i need money y'all none of these rolls have money what are you doing give me the uncommon augment because i would actually like more critical damage on jinx please <sighs> all right well we'll see this is a potion of Potion of what are you? Potion of power? Let's use this disintegration oil here and try to line up a good turn. I might actually theoretically be able to get something out of this stupid treasure pot. I crit him. Unfortunately, his stupid shield is just nonsense. Everything is so spread out here and they, well, the thing, I can't even kill these vanguards because they have literally 720 free health on this turn. And then... The support of Spindlecaster is here. This is a horrifying combat. What do you mean? I guess we work on the pot. I can't really think of anything else to do. Let's work on the pot then. Let's run ourselves over. Yikes. I need this orb. Okay, the outer ring is still somewhat visible. Okay, let's crit the pot, I suppose. I guess, actually, no, I should really just crit out this supportive spindle caster, yeah? I need money, or I'm not even getting my quillings reward. This is actually obscene. I'd never realized how important the treasure pot was to being able to do the spend quillings. 
reward. I actually feel like I desperately need this guy. So first order of business, I think let's just heal ourselves. This is going to be a thing that needs to happen. Protective. Each time you defeat an enemy, gains attack. It's a new icon. Interesting. Okay, countdown. Gain 30 shield. So this guy basically becomes impossible to kill. Got it. Okay. Let's throw the pot down there. Okay. Cool. Take the orb. Walk out of the AoE. We're going to bomb here. Okay. Okay. I'm going to attempt to do as much damage as I reasonably can. I need money very badly. Okay, he takes some damage. I do manage to make some progress here. Do manage to make some progress here. This is brutal. We're going to pot blast. I'm going... I need to get the orb. I need to... Pot Blast. I do need as well... I have to get that. Okay. Walk out of this. I think the Black Hole is probably my best bet here to do any kind of appreciable damage to this floor. I am clearing some of this out at least. Running yourself over is probably the play. I haven't killed anything, so I don't really feel like I'm getting any value out of Jinx here. Should have really eaten that potion a turn earlier, huh? It's okay. And then run yourself over. We're doing our best here. This stupid po this stupid treasure pot is just never dying, I guess. I am cornered up here, which is unfortunate. I have to walk out of it. There's pretty much no other place I can go besides here. So we did roll a crit, however, which is great. Run yourself over, it matters. The good black hole. So to best use this, I have to... It's a very strong black hole. I think I just take this hit right now because I have a marked on a key target. So we kill an enemy. I take the orb... And then I think I need to kill these other guys here, right? Yeah, pretty much no choice in my opinion. So let's move the orb. Okay. Finish those enemies. Take this. Try our best. I guess I could crit a guy, but I'm instead just going to heal myself. I think that we're, we're offsetting this in the best that we can. Okay. I have Dread Online, which will, I think, actually just end some guys that I'm very pleased with ending. Cool. Run yourself over. Orb. Blast. Orb. Black hole. Stop seven damage. I think this is about as good as this is going to go. I get the Will Ara. Okay. Run yourself over. No, it doesn't matter. Our goal here is to maximize damage against this last enemy. We are also going to heal ourselves because reasons. Maximize damage against the last enemy. And do it again. We're trying here. We have full charge. I'm not going to take the Will Aura. It's just going to have to be fine. I'm going to finish him. Oh, he's actually just not finished. Incredible. He is too strong. Wit Thief. I cannot get through him with my Dread Stacks. So I guess we just heal through this turn and hope for the best. run ourselves over and yeah hope for the best take 10 straight up damage here woof okay i finally do get to do some damage to this guy which is good with thief is a thing let's stand in our aura there's no i mean i could maybe kill him on this turn but at this point i would rather just kill him yeah, just kill him. I don't I don't get the pocket watch of alacrity because apparently that's never happening to me again, but 
Uh, all right, it's a shame. Shadow Book is really good. On your first turn, gain one will and five magic power until the end of turn. I really like that. Eight crit chance. This seems necessary. Store more health or, hey baby, how about critical jinx? You ever want a critical jinx? <laughs> yeah, three critical jinx. I'm very pleased with that. I pretty much have to take this crit chance. Let's just make sure we roll this. I have enough money at long last that I actually think I can finish my run quest. Incredible. Braided Acacia. I'm going to spend one more reroll on this, I think. For every 15 health you lose. On critting, re reduce the cooldown of your highest cooldown binding by one twice per turn. It's pretty strong. This basically rolls me down to spirit bombs all the time. I think that the, if we can lean into more crits, then I can get rid of misting bells, right? More crits, more power. Pocket Watch of Alacrity is basically a tax on high gravity right now. It's not otherwise very strong. Carver's Refuge, I have to spend my money to get my crit chance up, I think. Yes. And <laughs> now they show me another Pocket Watch of Alacrity. Controlled Explosives is strong. This is definitely stronger than Pocket Watch, but unfortunately, I think I can't really take it. Let's reroll this. On using a binding, gain two stacks of Shattered Will. I don't think that's going to be that strong for me. I need to spend another 75, so I think I'm just going to re-roll this. The purple I can't afford anymore, but this is not very strong. T for two. Herald Sandals. On your turn, reduce movement cooldowns to zero. I have no movement cooldowns. Let's look at what our legendary roll is. On your turn, gain one will for each cooldown, each binding on cooldown. Yeah, that's pretty good, huh? That's This is great. This is the, I don't know, solve my problems of will situation. Yeah, I think that's strong. I think we ditched the pitch pipe for that. I love Nim's Oath, by the way. This is really powerful. Dazed to all enemies is very good for this, but... But what do we do? I need to off. I need this to be a will. Yeah. I think this has to be Fountain of Creation here. I'm quickly getting to the point where I don't think the Pocket Watch of Alacrity is holding its weight. Unfortunately. Yeah, I think we ditched the Pocket Watch. We, we've gotten two ability power out of this. It's not very strong, unfortunately. I mean, Stone Pitch Pipe is stronger still. Marked is still stronger. The double counter assistances are still good. The critting gain shield is important. I think we Fountain of Creation this, yeah. And I think we ditch Pocket Watch for it, unfortunately. That does put me in a bad situation movement-wise again. But I think that's okay. Yeah, I think that's okay. There is the Herald Sandals all of a sudden, but I don't think that's going to add enough value. Let's just save our money, I think. Was there something I left behind back here? I think there was, right? No? Oh, there was. It was that potion, but it goes away when I opened the next one. Womp womp. Another a missed ability power potion. Just, ugh. Mistake after mistake. I, the thing is, is that a lot of this is not very well telegraphed, right? You're like, oh, that potion you left behind is going to vanish. Why doesn't it like pop up? Hey, do you want this potion or something, right? You'd think that it would, like, I don't know, have some kind of a mechanic that prevents you from wasting stuff. A lot of these things are just poorly telegraphed. The fact that I'm missing those is a combination of I'm trying not to spend 5 million hours playing this game. And also, I'm trying to not backtrack too terribly much okay first order of business position bomb bomb good orb bomb good take zero damage on turn solid regenerate okay it's good to put things on cooldowns is what i'm learning here 
because remember, when I put things on cooldowns, we get Fountain of Creation value. Let's just sit on our... I guess we could run ourselves over. We already have the will, Ara. It's fine. Just sit here. Cool. So this should give me a lot of will. I oh, yeah, five will right here. Very good turn. Cool. I have a crit on Black Hole. We're just going to take that and kill every single Nimbit here. That's pretty cool. All right. We're walking up. Hitting ourselves. Orb. Bomb. Orb. I'm going to take Regeneration. Even if it doesn't give me value right now, I think it is worthwhile. Let's at least run ourselves over and keep us and the man inside of the thing. I guess we could pop him. Sure. Here's a charge, man. He takes 65 damage. Huzzah. He's taking no damage from any of my stuff. That's not great. Okay, 13 damage. That's a fair bit, but that's okay. Now, I did roll a crit on Jinx, which is pretty strong as it turns out. We're going to black hole first, I think. Yep, we're just going to do that and get that out of here. I am going to hit the slimp up here to get rid of him. I then want to move this back down. We're going to take the orb after I throw a crit bomb over here at the man. Good job. Orb, orb. Walk out of the bad thing. Run him over, I think. Bomb. And sit on this. Okay. I'm okay with how this is going so far. Let's migrate this up so that we get a better black hole here. I guess we could bomb first. And then orb, and then bomb, and then we get a better black hole. This guy's got so much health. What is happening here? Good grief. Why does he feel like he just will not pass away? I suppose that's just the way of things. I don't know what's happening here. I take a bunch of damage, but I'm okay with it, right? I have regeneration to help get me out of this doomsday scenario. This guy's so terrible. Good grief. Bomb here. Orb. Orb. Oh. <laughs> right, I'm getting got by high gravity now all of a sudden. Okay, well that's unfortunate. Let's, I guess, run ourselves over a whole bunch. We should charge things, yeah. Okay, well, 28 damage is a lot of damage to just take. That's unfortunate. We don't like to see it. Regeneration is important here. I need bomb, orb. Orb. Black hole? How much damage are you doing? You're doing 18 damage to me? I'm sorry, man. This is too much. Okay, well, I'm alive. Uh, mm, we're going to need to respect a little bit. I'm going to take this blue-spined cod now. We just eat every resource we can get. He is... I'm sorry, Nim, are you okay? I literally cannot walk out of his attack because of this stupid mechanic. Wow. Okay. Well, I, I'm going to phase here, is what that's going to tell me. Okay, I'm going to heal here, which is probably my best bet to avoid immediately passing away. And I'm going to sit on my orbs here to avoid taking any Wit Thief on this turn. And... Actually, well, yes, I'm going to sit on my orbs here. Okay. Good grief. Nim is... Either I'm very weak and I didn't realize it, or Nim is nonsense powerful, right? I don't actually know the answer to this. Cool. So anyway, Nim is doing 22 base damage here. That is unbelievable. 
How do you even handle this? 22 base damage. If I take zero from everything else on this turn, I live. Okay, well, that's motivating at least. Can I avoid all damage? Literally all damage possible. I need to kill those two figments up top is what that means. Okay. So run yourself over because meaning it's good. You bomb orb. Roll a crit on it. Bomb orb. And we get the good black hole now almost. Wiggle a little. I need this orb. Orb. Okay, we're down to 12 damage taken right now. Use regeneration. It's important. This is a crit jinx that is currently doing basically nothing. Which is a tragedy. Let's finish these guys off real quick. Because I want to move the orb again. want to move the orb down here, which lets me get a good black hole. And then I can throw this Jinx back there. And this is probably the best that we're going to get here. Genuinely, I take nine on the turn. All right. Nine on the turn. I mean, this is unfortunate because he's going to throw, right? Oh, no, he just kind of pulses damage now in a most horrendous way. Okay, cool. Pulses. Orb. Go for it. Orb, please. I need more orb. Thank you. Jinx is a good roll here. Jinx is the best roll here. Okay. Regenerate here. And then take the black hole, I think. Use the marked. The marked goes away at turn end, so I think using this crit is worthwhile. And then let's what, run ourselves over, I think. Which saves one health. Okay. We may get out of this by some miracle currently passing away which I suppose makes some measure of sense bomb I need this black hole I really need to roll marked on him or I think we're not making it so let's try Hey, buddy. Not great. Now you roll marked. Huh. Really? We're alive. I did the math real quick. I take 21 damage on the turn. I think we get out of this combat in with like two health. I think we do actually get out of this combat with like two actual HP. And then, yeah, you throw the bomb at this guy. What an outrageous. I mean, this was getting hard carried by regeneration. I don't know how we're alive. Do not actually know how we're alive. Okay, we get to actually ascend for some damage. I'll take it. Grim Vortex. Deal reduced damage. Well, that's not going to be a thing. Bewitch. Deal double bonus damage for each stack of dread. And start combat with two stacks of dread. Yeah, I mean, buddy, I need this. This does damage. That's a damage roll for me. I'm going to take Bewitch for sure here. Yep. Okay, we did it. Minus one will cost is pretty promising on discounted Spirit Bomb. I don't think there's a chance that I'm getting sturdy restoration value here. That's pretty funny. I could spin this and look for Resistant, which is very strong. 
I might die on the elites. I think we re-roll this. Oh, well, okay. Oh, I didn't roll it, actually. I'm going to take Destructive Spirit Bomb. If I can guarantee more crits on this, 150 crit damage, that adds up. Yeah. We didn't get an Ascension on this, unfortunately. I didn't really think I had... I don't think I have the flexibility to do it. So, yeah, Destructive Spirit Bomb, I think, is good. Yeah, sure. A lot of crit there. Good grief. Is there anything back here that I think I can use? I'm genuinely surprised I'm alive, so I'm going to buy health. Cool. That seems solid. I bought health. I think that is worthwhile. Turns out Fountain of Creation is literally saving my run as well. So, okay. We made it through that combat in a desperate play. This game is a lot harder these days. Good grief. What do we get? 15 frostbite damage. I could pass for health. No. If I'm going to take nothing, it's crit chance, right? Although magic power would be pretty cool. I do think magic power is good as well. I think with enough counter assistances, I'm less inclined to worry about the crit chance roll. Let's take magic power. I think that adds a lot of value. Yeah, it's like, like 10 damage to each Bewitch stack. I'm good with it. All right, Bewitch, save me. Jinx, your job is to keep me out of this combat alive. Thank goodness it's runestone. Yikes. Now I do have to kill this Shadow Quill pretty much ASAP or we're having a bad day. Run yourself over. Bomb. You can get pretty, you get pretty good numbers here. Okay, yeah, so Hex is, rather the Marked is excellent. Thank you, Study of Wind Song. That bomb's out of this. I can avoid a lot of damage. Take this orb. I'm gonna regenerate. I think we charge up here. I'm still taking a lot of damage on this turn, unfortunately. I'm rolling crits, though. Not that it matters a ton, but... Okay, I do get two extra will next turn from Fountain of Creation. I take a chunk from this guy. This enemy is very scary, by the way. Do not underestimate that guy. I can get a double kill here, which is excellent, I think. We will take it. Just throw down, kill some dudes. Excellent work. I need to kill the guy upstairs. Is there any position-based stuff here? No. Okay, so the play is we need to move, run yourself over, and bomb out. Orb, bomb out. Okay, run yourself over again. Good. Orb, crit. Okay, we take seven. All right. Scary, but we're, th we're making progress. Let's regenerate still. Orb. I do just get to kill an enemy here. So I'm probably going to just kill the guy that is doing... What? Eight damage to me? Probably worth it, right? I think we do kill this guy, right? The ink drain is very bad. Yeah, just end that man's life. And then I need the will aura very badly. Let's save this orb for next turn. I get two from Fountain. I should have a good turn coming up. Okay. This guy, Mr. Auto Hit here, is going to cause me some problems. Let's make sure we do as much damage as we reasonably can. I need to charge up. Orb. Charge. Orb. Regenerate. Charge. Move up. Black hole. End the combat. Yep. Okay, we did it. Black hole and the combat. I am contemplating rolling down my fountain here for some movement. Target gains resistant. Yes, this is a huge damage reduction that I think is very important to me. Damage-wise, I feel okay. Yeah, damage resist, please. Thank you. Resistant restoration. Exactly what I wanted. 
Okay, we're getting something here. On gaining shield, gain five stacks of spiked three times per turn. I potentially gain a lot here, although Blessed Brickstones is free damage. That's true. It is free damage. I'm probably rolling that down. Let's go over here, and we're going to roll down the fountain first, because this is my glyph. Okay, nothing good. Crit damage, magic power. It's all fine, but I want to look for something else. 10 movement per turn. This is going to be very important. Yeah, here it is. We got it. Great job. That offsets a good chunk of high gravity, which I think has is a big concern for runestone in particular. Now, we're back over here. I think I'm going to re-roll this. I don't think Blessed Brickstones is giving me enough value to care right now. Right? I want something that offsets like that's better than boiling muck or stone pitch pipe. So let's re-roll that and see what we hit. Carnival candy. Interesting. Now I have no ability power from other sources, right? So after 10 turns, this is no longer providing me any downside, right? Your damage from physical deals damage, right? Only one minus ability power. You can't go negative. So after 10 turns, this does nothing for me. But otherwise, this is providing a ton of value, right? This is 100% bonus damage out the gate. I don't think the early turns are that scary here. I don't think we're getting a lot of value out of controlled explosives on this one. There's not a lot of enemies to defeat. There's just those big goons. I could re-roll this one more time, or I could accept that this is probably pretty good. Just take this. Do 100% bonus damage quickly. You could phase pretty quick, pretty fast. Combat ends in eight turns. It's still positive. Is it better than boiling muck? Possibly. Boiling muck is pretty good, but I don't think it's that good. Stone pitch pipe is great because minus one will cost is just nonsense good. I need, I need the hammer of the broken rail. Anytime I crit, I gain a damage. My counter assistance is my whole build right now. I think I'm going to take the can, the carnival candy. This is a big power spike pretty much right away, and empowers my first turn in an important way as well, with the sugar rush. Yeah, we'll take it. All right, Boiling Muck. I think this is the best we're going to get out of you. Let's move on and... Ooh, money. Sure. Why not? No potions, no nothing. We move on. I buy health and we leave. Okay. We did it. Cool. What a difficult combat. What a difficult run. We're at an hour and 23 minutes just from how calculated everything has been. This has been tough. A very difficult combat and just run overall. Longer episode than I was expecting. We still haven't even gotten through the boss. It's a really good opener on this Jinx just rolling a crit. Does like 2,000 damage out of the gate, which is pretty darn good. So that's great. Our most important play in the opener is get regeneration ticking. I cannot get behind him... No. So I think we need to run ourselves over. I do need to... I need to reduce... I'm going to be able to do more damage to him later. I think we need to reduce the damage we're taking by throwing this. Re take, I take a lot of reduced damage as a result. Get the orb. Move up. I'm currently taking nine here. Let's run ourselves over again. Make sure I end in my own aura, and then begin pulsing here. Just keep doing it, I think. Okay, I take seven. Unfortunately, because of the way movement works, I can't spend will to get behind him very easily. I do get the crit roll here. I need to move to the left side, I believe. Take the crit roll here. It's good to do it. I need to... Is he being hit? Who's who's getting hit by this hand? 
I think it is the rune. I think it is runestone getting hit by the hand here. So if that's the case, that's great news. Let's run ourselves over and begin the process of bombing orb. Bombing, I think. How much damage am I taking? Zero? That's a good sign. I gain three will from Fountain of Creation next turn, which I'm pretty pleased with. I want to stand in my will, my orb. If I click the bomb, I get a full charge will aura next turn. Good. That's a strong play. I think he did get punched. He did get punched. Great. So first order business, I need to make this guy attack the boss. You, you getting them? You're getting them. Great work. Okay, now my movement sucks. Let's just be real here. My movement is in a bad place. So we're going to walk out of dying. And I'm going to... Gosh, I am taking a lot of damage here, aren't I? Okay, we're going to regenerate. Okay, it's pretty good because resistant makes a big difference. I... Should cover myself with my own aura. Good. It's a pretty good blast, I think. I think I might be able to hit them both. Don't walk in the bad thing. I need to have a better turn here, so... I'm losing a lot of orbs because I can't get them. This is movement being a real struggle here. The new ch the change in movement makes runestone so much harder. And then also high gravity is outrageous. I'm glad I re-rolled for that. I... I could just phase here. Why am I not just phasing here? Okay, just phase. phase and take zero got it all right fair enough and then i think we do charge here just to get it on cooldown for fountain of creation and to get us closer to our psionic charge setup he runs into him which does give him woozy but he phases immediately and recharges everything okay that's a lot of incoming damage these guys are now pulsing which is not great. It's a lot of incoming damage. I'll admit. All right. Let's walk as far as we can. I need to stop as much of this damage as we can. Why am I taking nine? I don't want to take that nine. Okay, I need these orbs here. So... I need to kill that. Reduces him by a lot. I need this orb as well, and I walk out of it. This guy's pulsing at 15, which is very bad. Can I get out of both of these? Is there a ring that does that? I can take it. There's an 18. Ugh. All right, there is not a ring that gets out of everything. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking if there's like, because there's like, it's an AoE, like you can get reduced, but. Yeah, there's 46 in the middle. If I could have gotten a little farther, but I needed that orb, right? So I think. I think I have six will still, right? So let's plan around how I can best use this. I can stop a lot of incoming damage. I need to stop this guardian from hitting me if I can. Right? So, first order business is, I think, charge. I also think that if I can get crits, it reduces the damage I take by a fair bit. Yes. Okay, so crit rolls are pretty decent still. I need to end in my orb. 
Yep, pretty much no way around it. So let's just spend our will reducing the damage we take. Right? I think that's smart. I need to end in my orb, yes. Okay, well, we do this. I take 21 on the turn, suboptimal, but we might still get out of it. Currently taking, excuse me, a lot of damage there. My, it's pulsing out, that's a problem. You cannot keep pulsing out like that. This position I think is correct. Just do not hit this hand is pretty much the only thing I can say. Yeah, take the blast. I am going to heal myself, which I think saves me. I rolled the crit as well, which I think is important. Unfortunately, this guy is just still pulsing at 14 damage because I haven't killed them fast enough. Yeah, these guys, the, the like spam pulse is death, I think. I need to get out of this area of effect. I need to kill them. Okay, that is, those runestone guys causing some major concerns for me. I need to, currently taking four. I can reduce this damage a fair bit. I can go to zero and save all of my orbs for next turn for a big turn here. Yes, I think so. Gosh, this is a tough, this is a tough run. Okay, taking zero on the turn. It's fine. Big turn incoming. I really want to get close to Runestone to drop him. But I can't position myself. This new movement makes Runestone so difficult, y'all. Just really tough. We'll go for this crit. I do get the orb. I am going to reduce damage taken. I'm taking that orb. I can't get close enough to throw here, so I think I am just gonna throw at this guy. And then, what, black hole here? It reduces his damage a bunch too, which I appreciate. Puts it on cooldown, which is good. I can at least run myself over and take zero on the turn. It's not a very good turn, but it's okay. I need, to, I really need to be able to angle this somehow. Okay, this is probably the best I'm gonna get. How do I get him to look that way though? This is tough. Let's run ourselves over. Okay. I don't know, this high gravity is, and just so much movement penalty is really killing me. I cannot uh, navigate this combat in a meaningful way. Like, right? Just hit him. I need to do damage? I think so. Orb. Yeah, black hole him. Yeah, I'd do it to him. Let's try to phase here, I guess. Do some damage to this lunatic as much as I reasonably can. Anything I can do, honestly. Regeneration seems like... I might actually need this regeneration on a future turn. But just throw the orb at him. Do anything you can do, pretty much, is where we're at on this... In this combat. I'm just saying to myself, hey man. Do damage. End in your orb, because trust me, you want to. I'll take the one here. Now, he should angle at the boss here, right? That's true. Okay. Good. This is the turn where I really want. Oh, wait a second. Before moving, grab the orb. Now move. Okay. Now move. I need to work on these guys up here. Yes. Great. I have will orb. First, charge, orb, charge bomb? No, it's not a good bomb. 
regeneration, and the hand is at least hitting the man, which is good. I could run myself over, but it does get rid of the it does get rid of the effect on them because they're in my aura. They have a lot of life, though. I think I'm gonna run myself over, actually. Did that not run me over? Did that not actually give me shield? Okay, that's unfortunate. All right, he is phased, or at least not phased, but, you know, doing pretty okay. We're gonna work on these goons. I pretty much don't have a choice but to find a way to kill them fast enough. I have to move here on my turn. This is where I must end up. Is there... I think I'm gonna leave one of those orbs on the table. I am throwing... Did they get marked yet? No, they did not. Let's do the black hole first because they might get the roll the mark. They didn't. It's fine. Throw the bomb at them. Take the orb. I think I have to end my turn in my orb or I am having a bad day. Okay, fine. I have to kill them on this turn or they begin pulsing. Yep, that's a death sentence if I don't. Yeah, it's, it's death, right? It's super friggin' death. Super death as it were. Okay, so I need to... I pretty much need to just gamble on this, right? Now, one thing to keep in mind, this hand up here is currently charging towards me. So if I am in its path, I'm going to pass away. Okay. All right, we're gonna blast with this bomb. In fact, it's actually probably good to charge first. You can do that. Orb, orb, right, orb, and then I can kill everything here. Good. I'm currently still taking 17 damage. Why? Is it this guy? Are you seriously doing 17 damage to me? Weird. Okay, well, I'm going to use Resistant on myself then. And I'm going to put myself over, I suppose. I don't really know why I'm taking 17 damage. He should only be doing 7. Do I have a debuff or something? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. This combat has been way more difficult than I was expecting. I'm not actually sure where this is coming from. Is it the ink drain? No, 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 he doesn't get it. I don't actually know where this damage is coming from. So I think the answer is simply to run yourself over. We get two pops from Fountain of Creation here. I have no idea what that big AOE damage was. Okay, cool. All right, so the first order of business is I think I need to get this guy to hit himself. Right? I can get him to hit himself and walk out. How much damage are you doing, buddy? Seven right now? I don't actually know what he's doing because it doesn't say. I would love to get you to hit yourself, but I'd also really love to get these orbs. How much damage am I doing? Not a lot as it turns out. Not a lot. And we have another friggin' runestone up who is gonna start pulsing damage and just insta-killing me. So I could race this, but I don't think I can reasonably race this. I think I have to kill this or this runestone. Man, how do I even win this without regeneration? I don't even know what's going on right now. So I think if I go here and hit him, it should angle him towards the boss. Right? No, it did not angle him towards the boss. Okay, well that's not exactly what I wanted to happen. 
Now I can't do anything? Gosh, this is stupid. This is the runestone struggle, right? I can't move my orb or else what? Let's do a little wiggle here. I need a little wiggle, please, maybe? Okay, I need to do something. We're gonna get this this thing out of my hitbox. Okay, <laughs> yeah, we did it. All right, it's fine. I take six damage on the turn. It's a terrible turn, but at least he hits himself. All right, we have two rune stones up. These are big problems. I must move out of the AoEs. And I must work on them. I think there is pretty much no way I cannot do this. It's a good turn. We'll do it. I now need to spend as much will as I reasonably can get. Making this all possible. I think this is a very good opportunity to crit out the boss and one of these guardians. Yeah, that's for sure happening, by the way. Do a pulse first, because it all it takes is one good roll. We don't get it. It's a, not a great one. Okay, so the first order of business is, I think we just need to throw down over here. That is just happening. Throw down. We're gonna stop as much damage coming in as possible with resistant, thank you. And I'm with that marked roll, I am going to do as much damage as I can to the boss. I really, really need to be in my orb. I think that there is no exception to this. Okay, so the answer is we pop, we run ourselves over. Will Lara. Okay, fine. I don't know what this gigantic everything glows purple effect is. It seems bad, though. Okay, this is a good turn for me because I think I can actually achieve something. Yeah, there is a safe spot that gets me to my orbs, which is pretty important. So, migrate, begin the process of doing damage. This is a good black hole, right? It's loaded. It's loaded and it's a crit. Take it. Okay. Orb. Do it. Orb. Do it. I'm going to do another black hole just to put it on cooldown for the next turn. Then I'm going to run myself over with my orb here. I get three from Fountain of Creation. This should be a very, this is a very scary turn now. Yeah, this is a scary turn, which I wanted regeneration for, because this is like guaranteed everything does a million damage. I did roll a crit. Can I end this combat? I did. Oh, buddy, we actually get out of here. That's an X. That's an X. Finish the combat. We did it. That was, is that the hardest run of Inkbound I've ever played? Answer is yes. That is an outrageously difficult combat. And you know what? I forgot to mention that there's a giveaway in this run. I got so, I got so hung up on everything that I completely forgot to mention at the beginning of this video that we are doing a giveaway as part of it. So yeah, hey, surprise if you want to win scribbles you can have a chance of doing so which is which means that yeah as a matter of fact that uh yeah maybe you get the secret tech if you actually watch this run but this this run was nonsense so difficult it I, that change to the treasure pots is outrageous i'm gonna say the key here, and the key word if you want to win Scribbles, is put Bewitch in a sentence down in the bottom in the comments, and I will enter you into the giveaway. Yeah, Bewitch is incredible here. This paid out in such a big way. It was very important. I don't think this is that amazing, but I do think that this is amazing in a world where they over-nerfed Chain Lightning, you know? Because Chain Lightning used to be the take. 
but now it's gone. So you still need something that does magic damage, and sadly, Smoke Bomb is not it. I think there is an ascension to Smoke Bomb, that, or like an augment that gives it hex, but regardless, you, you can't be walking into your binding and be like, well, I hope I hit the right augment for it. So Bewitch is kind of what you get, and it was good. It was great, in fact. I think I rolled crits on this, and this was just saving the run, pretty much. I think also regeneration full up saved the run. The resistant regeneration kept me afloat far longer than I had any right being. There were many turns on Nim where I said I should just be dead, but I squeaked it out with like two hit, two hit points because I regenerated a bunch. So pretty nonsense. The change to damage preview to not include your healing is also very weird. I get that it makes sense, right? Because you could die before you get healed, but... You don't actually know how much health you're starting your turn with, which is very strange. So I'm not a big fan of it, but it's okay, I suppose. I don't know. I also think Willara paid out. I really needed another ascension in this run, basically. I needed to like find black hole, straight up just like black hole. Also, by the way, movement speed is brutal. Runestone is so hard when you can't spend will to move outrageous he's all about positioning is the thing right and if you just are unable to position high gravity is a big penalty here i think i grossly underestimated high gravity as a challenge modifier and almost paid for it but we did win and this is a bloody hour and 46 minute episode outrageous i wanted to be two episodes in at this point Ugh. Well, anyway, I won't let this, I won't belabor the point. Remember, give away, say bewitch in a sentence in a comment, and I'll let you go there. Whew, we got the win. Hey, thanks a lot for watching this. I really appreciate your time. As always, you can give the video a like or a dislike. If you want, you can subscribe to the channel if you want to see more, and stay tuned for what's next. Huh, take care, folks.